Carl Smith and welcome to another tech review. The product that I'm reviewing this time will be this special pen. This is a mini USB video and photo spy pen. So what we have here is um, what looks like an average pen but it does much more than just writing but it does include writing on it as well. It does video recording in 640 by 480 mode in AVI file format and it does photos about 1.3 megapixels. And so let's take a look at what else comes in the box. We have um, the operating manual right here, and it comes with the USB cable extender. Now, I do want to say, I do want to show you uh, one nice feature about the pen. Well, first of all, it's not that hard to use, considering the fact that there's only really two buttons on here. But really, the button that you really, really need is this one right here. This turns the pen on, and uh, this snaps the picture and the video. Right now, uh, since you see a blue light, it's actually recording. I'm going to turn this off right here. When you unscrew it, it gives you access to the USB stick right here. This is a 4 gigabyte storage device. Uh, you can also use it to store your files as well. It's pretty cool right here. And in this part, is the pen itself. You can adjust it as you normally would an ink pen. Right here, this tiny little button, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's black right there. It's something, it's a little switch. This switch would allow you to change from photo to video mode and video to photo mode. Ever experienced a time where you wish that you had a video camera on hand or there's a time where you want to record something but for some reason video cameras would just look kind of awkward? Or there's this time where you know that someone's up to something and doing something that they know that they shouldn't be doing. Um, this is a good way to catch them in the act without them even knowing about it. You can just make as if you're writing something, a document, and there you go. You're filming them, and they don't even know about it. This is a great device right here. Also, too, with it being so inconspicuous, um, the camera that is, you want to make sure that you don't loan this pen out to just about anybody, because most likely you're going to loan it to them and they're not going to know it's a video pen. Um, all they're going to think is that it just has a nice pretty little light on the top. And then too, next thing you know, um, it gets in the wrong hands. Uh, someone might throw it in the trash or worse, they might just start using it to film people and just kind of uh, stalk them and that could just really be a problem, invading people's privacy. Well, I'm not trying to encourage. I'm not trying to encourage that type of uh, unethical behavior. But uh, the pen is pretty good for anything you want to do. Um, use it for. And now, the light is blue. And now that the light is blue, that means that it's in video recording mode. It's just a one-touch record and one-touch stop button. Now, right here, you may see a little tiny hole right there. That is the video lens. Pretty awesome, isn't it? Now, I think it's been recording me the whole time. I'm not sure. 
So we'll stop that right here. So you just unscrew it. Uh, also, if you want to put it in photo mode, you just change the little lever within it, like so. So now it's in photo mode, or maybe this is video mode. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so actually, this is video mode. So, now the bro screen. I'm filming myself right here. This is a very amazing device. And it's a great pen too, it writes very well. The pen is compatible with Windows 95 and higher. Yes, Windows 95, all the way up to the current operating system. It works great on Macs. However, though, it, since it does record in an AVI file format, you will need to use a Windows computer to access the video files. Or if you're using a Mac, you can get um, an AVI um, encoder. Because it's a standard. Max use a QuickTime playback format. So, let's check out all the stuff that I have, may have recorded, may not have recorded, or probably didn't want recorded, but it recorded it because I wasn't sure that I pressed the button or not. So it can get really tricky. You have to make sure you know what you're doing with this pen. I mean, it's a very powerful tool. You don't want to make sure you're recording when you don't want to record, so. Like I'm doing right now. So what I wanted to show again is that uh, the blue light, you should be seeing the blue light. And the camera lens is right here. So make sure that the light faces you when it's recording. And that the, this tip of the pen right here, you want to make sure that that faces the subject that you want to film. It's very good. Okay, so let's review everything that I've took a picture of and film. Now, although this pen is capable of having um, the USB projection already included in the pen, I find it useful sometimes to use this extension cord uh, USB input slot because of the fact that sometimes if you're trying to stick in USB here, sometimes it won't fit. So this is very convenient and it's, extend it's an extender. So I'm going to plug this into the back. Okay, well, I can make it a little bigger for you. That's the video camera right there. And that's me. So overall, this is a pretty good device. Honestly, I have to give it a 3 out of 5. Because of the fact that although it is a very good pen, it writes well. And it does video recording and photo um, taking. 
it can be a quite bulky device. What I mean by that is that sometimes when you switch it to photo mode and click down to take a photo um, on the top button, sometimes it'll do a video and sometimes if you click the switch to uh, function button within the pen to photo mode, it'll do video or the video mode it'll do photo. And sometimes it won't do either. Sometimes, yes, you, when you record, you won't get any footage. Other times, the files you think you recorded will not play back all the time. There will be an error message. Um, another issue that kind of uh, bothers me is that this is a no-name product. Um, I purchased it on eBay. That's just about the only place you can find things like this. You just type in video pin, so I'm not sure where it came from. It does work a good flash drive. It does make a good device to store uh, data and photos. So I guess you're not completely at a loss right there. It's nice to take uh, videos and photos with it when you want to find something to do or uh, while your friends and family, you know, give them something nice to look at and amaze them with. But I wouldn't highly bank on this device right here. I wouldn't make this my primary spy cam or spy device. But this is the only pen out there that does video recording that I know of that's available to the public. So, other than that, that pretty much um, explains this whole pen. In, the, in a summary like that. And this concludes this edition of the Tech Review. Thanks for watching.